a huge part of the CSGO community is always looking for those tweaks and settings that could boost the FPS. For obvious reasons, having higher FPS can help you gain that advantage you need to perform better. And a lot of people come up with new creative suggestions all the time. So this is a new video series idea that I'm calling FPS Inspect. In this series, me and some other wonderful volunteers are going to test and see if the ideas and suggestions from the community have any impact on FPS. We will also be able to see how much of a difference it makes since we're going to compare with and without the new changes. The testing method used isn't perhaps the best and most effective testing method and I'm simply trying something new here. Which is also why I would categorize this series as just entertainment with a bit of info on the side, but of course, if you ever want to try what we are trying, it should go without saying, but do it at your own risk. Now before we go into it, I'm taking a quick pause to let you know about Leadify. Do you want to go pro in CSGO? Leadify analyzes your matchmaking and face it games to help you improve to get closer to your dream. You will be able to see what you are good at and what you need to improve on based off millions of player data. If you get yourself a premium subscription, you can also rent practice servers with loads of different settings, which is something I use myself a lot. So if you want to go pro and learn from your mistakes, visit Leadify in the video description down below. Now let's go back to the topic of FPS Inspect. For this video, we are going to focus on getting high with the launch option. Using high is something a lot of people have been doing over the past years. We will be using the FPS benchmark map made by Uletical, and all of us will be doing the benchmark five times with and without high, and of course restarting our computers before each test. Using Novid in the launch options was allowed to skip the intro of the game, and everyone could also use whatever video settings or other settings they wanted for the test, as long as no one changes anything. Big thanks once again to everyone who took part, and here are the results. In this list, you can see the first five values of the benchmarks on the right, and then the final five shows high enabled. Please note that this test was done on 64 tick since we didn't apply tick rate 128 in the launch options and some testers may have used a low resolution in game or low video settings to reach their FPS. Now based off the results, there is no clear pattern of high working in everyone's favor. Yes, some people did get an FPS boost during the test, but others got even worse numbers. Random, for example, was able to get a stunning 6.92% FPS boost. Looking at his setup, there's nothing really that stands out in my mind, and his new results in the benchmark after using high went up by a lot. Plague and Panther Elite, who both had the same GPU, were also able to get higher results. Another interesting boost goes to Dual X Toxic, but he got the boost because one of his first results turned out to be very low, which obviously affects the average amount. Now, if we look at the opposite spectrum, we can see that H1 got minus 21.13%, which is further away from zero than the highest boost from random. H1, however, was using Windows 10 on a MacBook Pro 2019 edition. And if you look at his first benchmark, he got 280 FPS, then it drastically decreased down to 234, then 213. It's a pretty big downfall. OZ was able to get a zero difference during the test. Literally nothing. No FPS boost and no decrease either. And his values were never the same for each run of the benchmark. That is pretty sick. The overall average difference out of all the testers came down to about 0.46 FPS. So it did end up being more positive than negative. Is this enough to say that everyone should just use high in the launch options from now on? Definitely not. My recommendation is... If you want to know if it helps you, try it out for yourself, but as always, do it at your own risk. Using high could perhaps affect the performance in the long run, which is not taken into consideration here. But we did what the test was supposed to be about, so if someone out here says that putting high in the launch options boosted the FPS, then that person might not be wrong. But from what I can see, the chances are close to 
50-50. Let me know what you think of this new series down below. I know it's not perfect, but if you like it, you're welcome to suggest other tweaks or settings that you would like to see in another episode just like this one. Stay awesome, guys. Thanks for watching and go bananas.